Desperate times call for something new. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have a grocery haul and meal plan for y'all. So we went to Target mainly for our groceries because with post-Hurricane Ida, the stores are still not right. And that was the only place that had most of what I needed. We also ran into Walmart for some back to school lunchbox essentials and Winn-Dixie for some mama essentials. Let me take it down to the counter and show you what we picked up this week. Winn-Dixie and Walmart in-store haul, we still don't have grocery pickup here because of Ida and our local grocery stores still don't have sales. Nothing's on sale. Everything's full price. No ads. It's crazy. But right now you got to pick it up when you see it if you want it because stores are still limited. They are trying to slowly restock and get back but it has been uh, the grocery store struggle since Ida for sure, but I'm just thankful they have anything. But Walmart, we spent $39, lots of things for school lunches, so make sure your notification bell is clicked because I have that whole lunchbox series that's gonna be coming each and every week for the boys. Super excited about it. We've got some fun things coming and planned, so that's what a lot of that is for, but I needed some more grapes and we're not going to Sam's this week. We're gonna save Sam's probably for next week. Didn't need to make a special trip. Speaking of Sam's, I love getting the Nestle Splash waters there. I should have picked these up at Dollar Tree. When I did my Dollar Tree haul, they had a store that had this exact, what is this, a six pack there for a buck. I think this was like a dollar 67, so I could have shaved some pennies off, but it's all right. The wild berry is the one I picked up just to tide them over till we get another case from Sam's. Random, I'm out of Italian seasoning. I love getting that one because it's under a dollar. The boys have been loving like all kinds of things like homemade pizza stuff but they don't like the classico, like the regular pasta sauce because of the chunks of the tomato. They're so weird, both of them with their texture and tray with sensory, but Waylon even more with sensory than tray these days. Classico traditional pizza sauce, it is better ingredients than like your great value. All the other ones have canola oil, this one does not. So that's why I picked that one up. Speaking of the kids, I am gonna be making Paw Patrol and Puppy Dog Pals and just puppy dog lunch themes this week when you're watching, so stay tuned. And I'm gonna be making some protein cupcakes, like just birthday cake cupcakes. I have a recipe from Mason Woodruff. I really like his recipes. And he calls for the sugar-free Pillsbury, but instead of getting that one because it's a little bit cruddier ingredients, I got the Duncan Hines Classic Cake Mix, the keto-friendly one. So for my keto peeps, you can get a box cake instead of making your own. It's definitely not hard to make your own though, but this is just for convenience. Same thing with this. I got the Birch Benders Vanilla Frosting. It's one net carb per serving, no added sugar, keto friendly. And the ingredients are right there. And the calorie is 120 for two tablespoons. So I'm going to make like little puppy dog cupcakes with these, but they're gonna be hella high in protein. So I don't feel bad about giving it to the kids. And that part is sugar free as well. Speaking of sugar free for Halloween lunches, I am gonna be doing some really cool things with some sugar-free orange jello and some sugar-free lime. I wish I could find like a sugar-free grape for a purple one. That would be really cool. And for Paw Patrol and for Puppy Dog Pals, I got the sugar-free blue raspberry by Starburst. The boys love this one. We've gotten this one in the past and they like it. So that will be a win. I always get these every single year for Trey. Now for Waylon, hope he likes these. When I do my fall themed lunch boxes after Halloween, the pumpkin spice marshmallows are just 98 cents and they're shaped like like little pumpkins. How cute is that? So you can't go wrong for a buck there. And to just put one or two in their lunch boxes is not going to hurt. For the puppy dog themed week, I have the cutest idea for breakfast and I know Waylon's gonna get a kick out of it. So I just got the knockoff to the Reese's peanut butter chocolate cereal. This is the peanut butter chocolate puffs by great value. I didn't need a huge box because I don't like giving them like cereal every single day for lunch or for breakfast, but I needed it for that theme and it was perfect for what I needed it for. So excited for that. Speaking of the puppy lunches, got the mac and cheese by Kraft and they're shaped like little like paws. That's gonna be so cute. Speaking of puppy factor, these were 98 cents for the great value couplet cake liners. You get the different variety in there, like putting those in lunch boxes. And then they also had the Halloween ones and the fall ones for 98 cents as well. 
So this one says Happy Halloween with the skulls. And then it's got the spider web ones right there, which I thought was really cool. And then I like these because they're just fall for Thanksgiving. And they have like uh, candy corn colors, it looks like. But that's going to be winning for lunch boxes for on the cheap. Speaking of, their sprinkles are always really cheap as well versus some other stores. And I love these little pumpkins. How cute are those? And then I love the fall like little uh sprinkles are just really cute so that's gonna be for the fall ones now they had some that were more expensive than this and i didn't want to pay that because i try to do these lunch boxes as cheap as possible instead of paying an arm and a leg because you can go crazy for sure the gummy skull cupcake toppers you get eight in there those are so cute and then these like eyeballs were just creepy but cool at the same time strawberry flavor these are orange flavor they're going to love those i'm going to put these on top of yogurt and on top of the jello and stuff to just make it really cool and you can do it on the cheap these were like two dollars and some change they had some other ones that were like five eight dollars plus it's insane so look for these these were the cheaper option that's everything we got in store at walmart today that i can't get from target because i'm going to be going to target this is what we got at winn dixie because target doesn't have this stuff currently and walmart was out of this today spent 26 dollars in there for everything full price the carb counter lean tortillas you get eight in here it's four net carbs per serving 45 calories per, per serving and 11 grams of fiber this is good for all my keto peeps it is dirtier keto but it's definitely better than some of your other alternatives i think this one tastes better than the mission wins we got the little street tacos and i love those i had those for breakfast tacos this past week and i'm going to be using a own shape cookie cutter and cutting these out and making tortilla chips for their taco tuesday for their puppy dog week also for their puppy dog week i got the paw patrol string cheese you get 12 in there and they have all the characters on them waylon's going to love that both my kids have been loving string cheese lately so that is a win i always get these blackberries for trey he loves frozen fruit i've mentioned that in these hauls and in the lunchbox videos and that's a win for me because it doesn't spoil and usually it's cheaper as well so if your kids will eat frozen fruit definitely go that route and Walmart has not had their blackberries frozen and I can't find them anywhere else. So happy when Dixie has them. I'm going through about a bag a week just for Trey. He loves them. Walmart and Target both are out of the sugar-free ketchup where I live right now by G Hughes. And this is the one that I prefer because it's just five calories for a tablespoon. So I was there, saw it. I knew I needed to get it because I can't find it anywhere. Speaking of the unicorn of zero sugar sodas, Y'all haven't seen me buy like zero sugar sodas, like the caffeinated ones in a long time because I stocked up a long time ago. We went through them and now going forward, I'm just gonna buy the Dr. Pepper ones because they're my favorite. I can only find them at Winn-Dixie though. I can't find them at Walmart anymore sometimes. And if I do, I snag them. Target has them sometimes, y'all ask all the time, but Winn-Dixie is pretty reliant on having these every time I go. So this is the Zero Dr. Pepper Cream Soda, super good. And then the Cherry one also. They just have a regular Zero Sugar Dr. Pepper. I haven't tried that one, but I like the flavored ones instead. So that's what we got at Winn-Dixie and for Walmart, mainly for lunchbox stuff for the kids. Now let's get some real groceries from Target. $78 in-store Target run. Guys, the shelves are still empty as far as frozen and cold stuff. The struggles are real post Ida down here. I know some places though have like legit nothing. I keep saying I am grateful for what I'm able to find and it hasn't been detrimental, but like the, the veggie situation, I'm, I'm wanting that back. We got some baby bella mushrooms. I am doing an imperfect foods order as well, but with the way things are going down here, I don't know when it's gonna get to me. Probably won't be in this haul, but definitely always follow me on IG because I'll post things over there. And I have a link down below that gets you a discount if you are new to imperfect foods. Really love them and they have a lot of great things right now on their site in my area anyway hopefully i'm gonna get some more mushrooms through them the avocado four pack was such a great price this was like less than two dollars for four of them i thought that was pretty good buying them singly in walmart and other places they've been a little bit higher so i was happy about that I did get some bananas. I think they're 25 cents each, but not a big deal. Now, I was on the hunt for these and I was so stoked that they had them. This is the Stonefire Non Rounds Original. What do these guys remind you of? What do they look like for the boys? So these look to me like the Lunchables Pizza Crust. They even have like the little dots and stuff. They're a little bit bigger, I will say, but that's what I got them for because it was a fail the way I tried to do a Pizza Lunchable homemade this week. Stay tuned for those Lunchbox videos because I have high hopes for this one. I hope so, because if so, 
That is super easy. This Stoke cold brew coffee is my favorite of all time cold brew coffee. The extra bold one, unsweetened, super good. It's always out of stock at Target. They had two on the shelf. I couldn't even believe it. So I had to get it. I think it's like $4.99, a little bit pricier. Some of them can get really pricey. So it's honestly not that bad, but I highly recommend this one. It has a little bit of extra caffeine in it and it just tastes so freaking bomb. The Fairlife Fat-Free Ultra Filtered Milk. This is the, I think it's the 1%. It's the lowest one. That's the one I get for myself and for my family. We enjoy it. Honey Crisp Apples. I have some apples that we got actually donated post Ida, but we don't have very many left and I'm craving like specifically honey crisp for fall and they were a really great price at Target. So I picked up two. Something I have not seen anywhere. If you watch last week's grocery haul, you know the struggle I mentioned is the laughing cow. This is the creamy aged white cheddar. These are just 30 calories each wedge. I love adding these versus like mayo and stuff. Really good. You can add them to make like a creamy pasta and they didn't have the garlic when they were limited, but I do like this one and while I was there, we're running low. Pick it up when you see it is like my mission right now in the grocery stores post Hurricane Ida. We needed some Daisy Light Sour Cream. The Target brand is pretty comparable as well. It is five more calories. It's 40 calories versus 35. So if you're really shaving those calories, get the name brand versus the actual Target brand. I got the vanilla Oikos Triple Zero. So instead of getting the cups for the boys, I got this because in their lunch boxes, I'm putting it in actual containers and adding some sugar-free sprinkles. And they're really enjoying that. And it's a little bit more cost effective. This one is sweetened with stevia and monk fruit and really high in protein if you're looking for something for yourself or your kids. Speaking of no sugar, the two good yogurts are still my jam. Even though I'm not strict keto anymore, I still eat a ton of keto products, low carb products, because I just really enjoy them. And they're lower macro too, some of them. And I like the vanilla because I can add all my yummy toppings to it. Now my main mission in Target was to get cheeses because when dixie Walmart has been bare shelf, like you can lay on them as far as the dairy section goes. And Target had the hookup today. So happy. Target had a lot more things than the other stores, I will say. They had the reduced fat mozzarella shredded cheese and the Colby Jack reduced fat free shredded cheese. I got the big bag and the mozzarella and the regular bag and the Colby Jack. This one's comparable to the Trader Joe's ones, y'all. So the Trader Joe's one, I want to say is 60 calories for the same amount. This one's 70. So if you don't have a Trader Joe's and you're looking for a good mozzarella cheese replacement that isn't the fat free one I'm going to give this one a go and let you guys know. Now, I did not mean to pick up uh, Gouda. Like, oh my gosh, this is probably going to be an epic fail. I meant to get the regular American cheese in the Cracker Cuts. They did have them, but I picked up the wrong one. But that is for another homemade Lunchable for Waylon. What a way I made it last week was a fail. This is probably going to be a fail, but we'll give it a try. I think he will like this Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Honey. He loves ham more than turkey and the honey one of course is going to be you know better tasting so we're going to give that one a go i have some from imperfect foods i'm going to try them as well a little bit better ingredients i don't have any more sliced peaches can y'all believe that because in past hauls i bought like so many so glad i buy things in bulk and keep it in the freezer because we have went through it with the hurricane and still going through it with the shortages down here but myself and trey love sliced peaches and i need that for my protein french toast casserole from jack perez here on youtube I'm going to make a peach version. These were the only two bags, solely lonely bags of broccoli. No other brand, nothing on the shelf. I don't strive to get organic broccoli. You don't need it, but it was all they had. So that's what I got because we have zero broccoli. Trey's obsessed and y'all know I love that high volume, low calorie. We have zero chicken breasts. We have zero. And I didn't want to buy the big bag from Sam's yet. I probably will when I do a Sam's run, but this was reasonably priced and it's the same one at Sam's, the Tyson. I like the thin slice ones. They're just better macros. It's not those big thick ones that is like a million calories. You got to cut it in three pieces. We need this for the meal plan for a lot of things this week. Now the Kodiak Cakes protein pack cornbread mix, there was a 15% cartwheel saver thing and I wanted to get this for the boys. I made it with the, like the bad Jiffy box cornbread with some hot dogs. I plan on doing a pizza one for Trey, but this is better ingredients and this is higher protein. Hopefully they'll like this because they did like the Jif one, at least Waylon did anyway. Speaking of bad stuff, the birthday cake Oreos, this is for those protein cupcakes I'm making for their puppy dog themed lunches. This is going to be a topper and I know 
the boys love birthday cake. Who doesn't? So I saw these. I said, let's just go ahead and get them, treat them. It's just going on the topper. The rest of the cupcake is going to be good. So these are things I don't buy often, y'all, but I like to treat them every once in a while. Moderation is key. Out of baking powder, picked up one of those. Creamy mushroom healthy request. The regular one is like double the macros. Need that for a recipe. Waylon said he liked peas. I think he's lying to me, but I bought a little can and that's all they had as far as peas go on the shelf at Target as well to see if I like those. And he's also been loving in his lunch boxes some raisins and I love these little bitty good and gather wins and the box is so cute 40 calories for one little container if you're cutting as well so that is everything we got at target for 78 dollars this week shelves hopefully they'll get stocked pretty soon september 20th through the 26th meal plan so monday we are doing trader joe's kung pao chicken in the frozen section never tried it but it's in the freezer i'm trying to work through what we have before we make extra big hauls and also i have some stir fry veggies from sam's club and i have some shrimp i'm gonna thaw to add extra protein tuesday cheesy mexican beef it is so easy and so good i've made this a couple of times and this is one of the hubs and i's favorite for taco tuesday and you dip with some Quest chips for the extra protein. I'm gonna have to make a video or make a reel or something for IG for that. Wednesday, I'm trying a new recipe, Parmesan chicken. It's like a chicken bake, I think, and I'm gonna be using the Bonza mac and cheese. We haven't tried that before with some peas on the side. I think that will be a meal that the boys will enjoy as well. Thursday is gonna be beef hash. It's basically just shredded hash browns I have left over, some ground venison, some cheese and eggs on top. I mean, don't make your life hard, y'all. Friday, we're gonna do ground beef pasta. This is a new recipe that I needed that cream of mushroom for. And I think we're using the Barilla protein pasta. I finally found it. So I'm going to use it in there with some steamed broccoli on the side. Saturday has either been a date night or it's been a family night. So we will be going out for date night. And Sunday is the anabolic KFC bowls, which is cauliflower mash, the Tyson black and chicken tenders, some gravy and corn on top and cheese. So easy, so good. So that is this week's meal plan. Make your life super easy guys and work with what you have on hand. So that's this week's grocery haul and meal plan. If you like the meal plan, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button like y'all did a few weeks past because I will incorporate them every single week. And if you overall enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. If you are new, I would love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit all the bells and whistles before you leave because we upload a grocery haul every single week here. Don't forget to check out the lunchbox videos. I think I'm going to post those every Saturday for y'all for inspiration for the kiddos and not just for the adults around here. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. Y'all have an amazing day and an awesome week. And let me know in the comments down below what you've been on the search for like in the grocery store like what unicorn item is out there that your girl needs to know about that you have been looking for as well especially with pumpkin spice season I think we're all looking for something y'all have an amazing day we'll see you next time bye